This game mode blows. Elite Smash, the number one way to prove to your friends that your hundreds of hours spent on Smash Bros actually mean something. Except it isn't. Elite Smash is a laughable joke. Your achievements mean nothing, and we're all gonna die someday. And I'm gonna show you why. Elite Smash is is the GSP system. It's a load of malarkey. Have you heard of inflation? You know, the process of having more of one thing, so individually it holds less value, meaning that you need more and more of that one thing. You know, the thing that made $1 in 1940 worth $18.59 today. Well, the threshold to enter Elite used to be around 1 million back at the launch of the game. It's now over 7.5 million. What? Look, the problem lies in the idea that GSP grows with more people that play, and the more people that make it into Elite means that the threshold grows higher. My Terry's at 8 million GSP, and I haven't touched him since getting him into Elite, back when the threshold was at 7.3 million. Okay! There is no bigger kick in the nuts than making it to the border of Elite just to realize that the threshold has been raised by 7 Gorillion GSP. And then you get dunked on by a greasy Mario. It's just not satisfying. I will say, the first time I got a character into Elite, Terry, it was amazing. A feeling of true accomplishment. But now, I never play Terry online, unless it's in an arena. In fact, just a few days ago, I played a game as Bowser, and I got into Elite Smash after winning once! What?! All it took was a game or two with some luck, and now I got another character into Elite, bearing in mind that I don't play Bowser. Look, it's easier to get into Elite with a fresh account than it is to get into it with a cursed account like mine. And that's just not okay. I'm no game designer, but typical ranking systems seem to work out just fine and don't have to deal with wicked inflation. I will go on a multi-game win streak and gain barely any GSP. But then I lose two games, and it feels like I sink about a million GSP. Okay, so look. I'm doing a lot of talking and not a lot of showing. Well, here's the smoking gun. I got a fresh account, loaded with DLC, right? I picked Terry. In about 11 games, and that's including losses, I got into Elite. It was so freaking easy. I I've spent hours trying to grind characters into Elite to no avail. But a fresh account can literally do it in under an hour. This should be illegal. Not only that, but the matchmaking is bunk. As I was recording this, I fought this really chill Roy. We rematched a couple of times, that's fine. He loses a couple more times and sinks to 400,000. Now, it's not that I won that many games. It's more like the system is broken. He doesn't want a rematch, understandable. So he leaves and then I queue up for the next game. He gets paired up with me again. Dude, if you're gonna go on a couple game losing streak, and your GSP is microscopic compared to your opponent, do you really think that they'd want to be queued up with the same person? That poor, poor Roy. The of Elite Smash is Profound Rules. Oh, just saying that makes me want to vomit. Okay, so look, back in Smash 4, there were two modes, for glory and for fun. It wasn't the best, but it was a system that worked. For fun allowed for casual free-for-alls, Whereas for Glory was perfect for 1v1, no items, two stock, final destination. What mm, preferred rules accomplishes his bunching all the players who want for fun and for glory into one pool. Not only that, but since you set the rules, there's a fair amount of people who cheese the system. I've been guilty of that myself, but seriously, it's not fun to queue up expecting a fair 1v1 and then getting with a two minute timer on a random stage. Like, bruh, I feel like the system could work far more efficiently if there were a for glory type mode and a preferred rules mode. Yeah, you heard me. Preferred rules can be fun. When GSP is not at stake, sometimes you just want to hop onto a chaotic game. That sounds like super fun. Just a wild west of items, one stock, free for all on random stages, infinite replay value. However, when that is the only mode, it's not fun, especially when there's GSP to lose. If there's something competitive people hate, it's randomization. And the fact that you always have a chance to get paired up with some weenie butt who thinks that they can get free wins off of cheesing you on Yoshi's Island as Luigi can go suck it! Having a competitive mode with standardized settings would be optimal. 
there would be certainty. If you queue up for this, for glory mode, you know that you're getting either battlefield, small battlefield, or omega stages. Just a fair 1v1, no cheese. And with the for fun mode, if you're looking for something more dynamic and wild, well then you can get that too. The third and final sin is the Need I say more? Well, eh, actually yeah. So, it doesn't take a Sherlock Holmes to realize that the netcode is less than optimal. I will say, lag in this game is to be expected to a degree because of Smash's wide appeal. There's always going to be people who have the game and don't have the luxury of good Wi-Fi. That's fine. However, rollback would definitely be a step in the right direction to help reduce these horrible, unfun, stuttery matches. So in conclusion, Elite Smash? Ass. Does it make sense? No. Is it fun? No. Is it fair? No. You've made it to the end slate. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, I'd really appreciate if you would like and subscribe. If you disliked it, go ahead and dislike it. Your support really helps me make these videos. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye